to show me how the early chemists used it for distillation. This one is made of copper. Um, there were have been others made of, of, of glass for as example, well. For glass, probably. yes, yes. The important thing about a still is that there's a hot end and that there's a cold end. So the hot end is where the steam is produced. It then condenses uh, and is received into the receiver here. What we would need would be water, um, first of all, usually okay. distilled water. You could use rainwater. Th th this will do then? That will do. And then we'll need uh, whatever we are going to distill. For example, if we want perfume, uh, roses that, that would be excellent. Have, yeah. Rose petals. Yeah. I'm sure the restaurant won't mind. I hope not. And so the water with the rose petals will be heated up here as the steam's given off. It takes the scent of the roses, it reaches the alembic where it condenses back to a liquid and drips down here into this other container.